We did it. We found the spot. Hello and welcome again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I am in this nice little valley. We're about, ooh, I'd say about 10 to 15 miles south, about 15 miles south of Levan. And then in, we are pretty much due east of Yuba Reservoir, which is back that way. And just like usual, I'm gonna give you the GPS coordinates to where we parked and I'll put it on the screen right here. Today we are looking to see if we can find some banded black and white agate that used to be found out here. In some of my older books, it talks about how there's this black and white agate that they used to find out here and it got more difficult to find and then they just stopped coming. Um, in any of the newer rock hunting books, you don't see it. They don't put it in there. So either the place has been kind of tapped out or it just hasn't been searched in a while and needs somebody to go see if they can find some. So they talk about finding the black agate, black and white banded agate. You can check in the, the, the valley here. And they talked about it coming out of the hills to the right. Uh, so we'll kind of start our search here and see how it goes. But I imagine if it comes out of this, it probably comes out of just about any of these hills around here. Looking at the rocks though, just to get a feel for it, we've got some older volcanic, we've got some volcanic cobbles, some different volcanic rocks, and lots of looking stream pebbles that are like quartzite and other things. So there's probably a conglomerate unit. So an older riverbed that's washing down as well as some volcanics. And these layers, because they're colors, the greens and stuff, probably some volcanic ash, which I'm guessing is where we're looking for the uh, black and white agate. It's probably coming out of the volcanic ash layers. Come down quite a ways from where I've been, coming up against an old cattle fence. My dad's searching on the hill. Hopefully, he has, hopefully he's having better luck. But I've gotten to a part in the wash where there's a lot more stuff to look at. So maybe, maybe we can find something down here. Just past the uh, old cattle fence. Haven't found any of this stuff yet, but I found this nice green stone. It's probably a quartzite, a very green one. I think I might take that home and just cut it just to see what it looks like inside. To see if it's worth keeping, but kind of looks pretty. Decided, after not finding anything else in the wash, to come over and look, there's a ridge, a small ridge and another little valley before we get to the hills. So if it's coming out of these hills, that's why I'm not seeing anything in the wash, because it would be down here. Interesting, those cliffs look neat. Look at that nice boulder of conglomerate. That came down off of the top. You can see the top of the cliff is conglomerate, and then under it, you start getting these layers of what looks like ash. So, if we're looking for that agate, it's probably in these layers of ash. All right, I finally found my first piece. I just picked this up off the ground. It's kind of black and it's just got this thin band of white. So it's a very small piece, not very good quality. Let's see if it lets sunlight through though. Eh, hard to tell. It might if I cut it. Well, uh, it's very dirty too. But this is the stuff, it's just a very small piece of it. My dad has found a few little pieces, but this is the biggest piece so far. So this is the area right here. It's actually very close to where we parked. You can see we we're just parked right there. So it's supposed to be right in this zone. Okay, we're gonna just scour this area. I think we finally figured it out. So we're just parked right over there. And that's where we drove down. Right here in this volcanic rock, it's not quite a basalt. It's definitely more felsic. You can see the pink in it. But look, here's the volcanic rock, and then right on the edge, there's some black agate. So like I was thinking, it would be in the volcanics. Someone's been here before. So somebody had a few little pieces they found and just kind of put them on the rock here, just a few little black pieces because not really showing the white in them that little bit. I found this one. It's really hard to see anything. A lot of these are gonna have to wait until I can get them back and cut them and show them. So I was searching right here and a few little pieces just right here. And that looks like a bigger one. It's a little better. Still not really finding the white. 
but it's supposed to be black and white banded agate. So if you find these ones that kind of have a white look to them, they usually have just a bunch of little veins going through it. This one looks more promising. I've seen a lot more in it. Cut that open and see how it looks. Take a look at this piece. There's some better stuff here. You just need to find it bigger. That's very small. But that is good quality. As you can see, we have not come very far. I have not come very far up this hill. And I am finding it just kind of all over the place. There's some larger ones I've pulled out. A lot of these, you just, you can't tell the quality of it. And I'm going to have to cut them to see. Saw this one. I don't know about that one. This, however, looks promising. Okay. Most of these just seem to be veins going through it. But maybe some of these have more in it. I won't know until I cut them. I saw this one here, and then I saw that little bit poking out right here. So I pulled it out, and it looks like it might be really good. I won't know till I clean it off. I didn't bring anything with me to clean off. Oh, I see something right there. Well, that's pretty nice looking. Still small, but things are getting better. It seems to just get more and more. And then the pieces are getting bigger. This one's looking a little better. I think I'm getting some lines in this one, finally. Finally, maybe getting to where the better stuff is. Continue to work our way up the hill, not too far from the top. But I found this piece right here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a little bit of red in it. Let me see if, you can, if any light comes through it. Tiny bit on the left. But it has some red in it. I'm gonna clean that off. They are looking better. Well, I think we know why there's a bunch of just small pieces going down the hillside. So we're almost to the top. You can see where we're parked over there. This is basically the top of the hill. Does this look like something right here? This must be the old spot where 40, 50 years ago or whatever, the guy who found this dug. So this is where it comes from. This is where that black and white agate comes from that they talk about. It came out of this. So that begs the question, why did they stop? Is it because they ran out of good stuff? Or did he just get too old and then just not really tell anybody exactly where this was? But I am intrigued and I really want to dig into this find out where it came from and they pretty much just hit this spot but it might go a little further that way and I found some around the tree so it might go further that way it seems to be a very small area we really don't th find anything so when you get over to right about there you don't really see anything and it only goes to about where my dad's standing so it's just in this zone but this is promising I do want to come back here and dig and see what we can find. So the place he dug was up top. Most of the stuff washes down that side, but I thought, what if you go back in time when that wash maybe wasn't there, maybe it came down here. And look at the size of this one. This is looking very promising. I think we're gonna look around here more. So I found that bigger one right down there and it looks like I might've found another good one right there. Let's get that thing out. Not as good as the first one, the one down there, but pretty good still. Keep it. So once again, the heel that the stuff's coming out is right here. Most of the stuff from the diggings washed down that way. And this I thought would be a great spot where older stuff might have washed out. And look at that. Got some white in that one. There we go. There's some much better looking stuff. Oh, I hope there's more in here. Well, we're back home from the black agate area. And uh, let me just explain something that kind of happened between what you've la seen last and now. Um, I found some nice stuff. We got done. We headed back to the vehicle, got there and realized I still had half an hour before I needed to get back and get back to work on some school work. So I was like, um, you know, what? let's go north 
of where we parked, just a little north and explore a little bit. So we did, and we found this little gully that after looking for a little bit, we found some more black agate. Bigger than the ones we were normally finding further south. So you saw all those little ones we kept finding up the hill that came from where they used to dig it. We found that pit. So I was like, wait, we're finding bigger pieces down here. Maybe we can find a seam somewhere that hasn't been found. Because that's always the dream, right? So we walked around and sure enough, we found bigger pieces. I found some nicer pieces. Um, and because of the time, we only had about half an hour. I didn't find where they were coming from exactly, but I am gonna get back out there and find out where those are coming from because they're much bigger, much better, and you can't really see it um, without shining light through it. So I'm gonna try, it's gonna be a little difficult. I took and cut them. They were all small enough I could use my, my saw on them, my tile saw, and I cut them and if you just look at them, you can't hardly see anything. But when you shine light through them, that's when they shine. So hopefully I can get that to work. So let's give it a shot. Let's see if I can get you guys to see these cool pieces. And like I said, I got to get back out there because I want to find out where those larger pieces have been coming from because they got to be coming from somewhere. So this one's kind of nice. Look at that one. So the common thing I found is you've got a lot of dark, almost black, and then quite often you'll have this little band of red near the edge. And then as you go towards the center, it turns colorless mostly. Okay, using my cell phone and putting a, a, a cloth over it has allowed it to get to the, about the right level of light so that you can see what it looks like inside. Isn't that beautiful? And we got this one right here. And this one, you can kind of see the, uh, the white on the uh, front of it, but it doesn't really let light through because on the black it's all, on the back it's all black. And you kind of need this to go all the way through for it to let the light through. Got this one right here. Uh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so my first time trying to show minerals this way, show agates and stuff, light going through them. So you kind of look at it kind of what it looks like on the surface. That's pretty, isn't it? And then when you put the light to it, oh, it's even better. Much better. Isn't that beautiful. This one's got that nice red right in the middle of it right here. I don't know how well you can see that on there. You can kind of see it a little better from this side. This one, nice. This is the other side of that red one. So you got that red right in the middle, kind of like you did on the other one. This is the other half of it. Now this is a piece of one that there were three pieces that came off. This was the biggest one I found. And this is in the wash that I found near the end of the day where I'd like to find the source of where this is coming from. Look at that, so you got some nice crystal pocket. And you're gonna, you can already see the light coming through this one. So look at that. Beautiful. Flip it over. Okay, here's another piece of it. This one's really dark, it's hard to see through this one. But it's still pretty nice. And that's because of it's kind of the edge piece. And then this was the best piece that came off of it. It's this one. Look at that. Nice crystal pocket right there in the middle. And look at that. <laughs> nice, huh? So 
So I really want to find bigger pieces. There's got to be more out there, bigger pieces. So I really need to get back out there. Now, if you recall, I also found a rock with dog tooth calcites on it. Let's take a look at that thing. Oh, look at those nice dog tooths all through it. It's pretty nice. And that was, this was near the surface. It had been probably freshly exposed because it was near the root system of a tree that had been pulled over for some, you know, tipped over for some reason. They might be clearing land. I don't know what they're doing out there. Might've been a fire that went through there. Look at those dog tooths. Beautiful. There you go. That's the Levan black agate. So that, that spot where they dig on the hill, it was supposed to be black and white. Um, I did find one piece that had a little bit of white going through it, but apparently that's kind of harder to find. And that those few pieces that I found in the other area north of where we were parked was all dark, but it had a little bit of red in it, which was nice. I wonder though, if we could find some that had some nice white veins in other areas. I really think there's a bunch of area out there that hasn't been explored. That's probably got some great agates. Just gotta get back out there and keep searching. The more you search, the more likely you'll find that there is treasure everywhere.